So I wanted to do another video on these air intake temperatures. I uh, wanted to show basically this is in a hot summer day. The car has been sitting for a little bit. I just turned it off. I've uh, been driving it for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, air intake temps are, let's find out. Sitting at about 132. It's 90 degrees outside today. Uh, with this Hellcat air box and filter, that temperature comes down pretty quickly. Uh, so just to kind of give you an idea, pulling out of this parking lot here. As far as how quickly they come down. As you can see, it drops real quick. Uh, and again, it's 90 degrees out showing ambient. Um, you know, I haven't gotten on it at all. Typically with these uh, cars, if you roll onto the throttle pretty quick, it will, uh, those temps will start coming down real fast. I'm coming up here to another stoplight. So you may notice it start creeping up just a little bit as I come to this stoplight. Let's see. Actually, it's actually still creeping down. Also, keep in mind the difference between what the air in the intake air temperature sensor reads and what the ambient temperature reads. So far, I've noticed it's about three to four degrees. So right now we're sitting at 10 degrees above ambient, nine or 10 degrees above ambient, roughly. Uh, if you're considering actual air temperature, uh, let's see. And again, this is just tooling around here. We're not trying to not actually trying to drop it. Normally, like I said, the way you drop it is to hammer on it pretty quickly, but it'll it'll drop 20 degrees pretty quickly, even on a real hot summer day. Again, 90 degrees, and it's already dropped quite a bit. So anyway, that'll give you an idea as far as uh, air intake temperature with the Hellcat air box and filter.